Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Brad. We're 626 Ohana, California, and today we're going to be reviewing Disney's Flying Fish at the Boardwalk Inn. Yeah, so we went to this on our last vacation, and really, we were surprised by the story and the food. Well, I'd actually been told we need to try this for a while and kind of check it out, and then of course everything in the last two years kind of happened, and then it reopened, so we kind of had to jump on board. <laughs> Okay, so let's go in and start with walking into the lobby. I thought it was amazing. All the artwork, it was beautiful. You look around the restaurant and it's just breathtaking. And it gives you clues how the flying fish was actually named. So we'll get to that afterwards because there's like a whole story that we found out. Yeah, and what happened, this, this was a cafe before and they turned it into a Disney signature dining experience. And you can really tell when you walk into that restaurant how beautiful it is as we're walking to our table and just looking around. I, yeah, I was just mesmerized. The ambiance really has that elegant, kind of relaxing in a way. I think you definitely get this a seafood restaurant, but it's with kind of the Florida ambiance if yeah. you will so it just ties to re it ties together really beautifully yeah and you look at everything we'll get more into that later okay so of course we ordered drinks uh unfortunately what kim ordered is not on the menu anymore and we can't exactly remember the name it was really good i i'm not big on uh drink i mean i do drink a little bit but not like heavily but it was nice yeah. but uh, we'll show you a picture yeah video. and of course i had a beer which is Nothing real too exciting. Um, and then of course, our starters. I got the Prince Edward Island Mussels, which I love to get. It was really good here. You know, it's 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 good seafood restaurant item and I loved it. Yep, and I got a shrimp cocktail, but it's not like a traditional shrimp cocktail. I no, <laughs> when I read the <laughs> ingredients, I was like, really? Okay. Yeah, so it has blood orange, horseradish, and it has all and black cypress sea salt. Well, you're going blood orange and <laughs> all this on a and shrimp. Cocktail. Yeah, it sounds really weird, but you gave me a bite and it was good. Yeah, this was a surprisingly really good <laughs> uh, shrimp cocktail. I I actually loved it. It uh, definitely had that Florida citrus flavor come through. And you can taste the salt <laughs> and just all the flavors mixed right. And the horseradish was not spicy at all. You can just get a little bit of flavor of it, but it wasn't like it was gonna be raw horseradish where it burns your mouth ouch <laughs> uh so yeah that was excellent i would recommend that anytime okay so of course we're at a seafood restaurant at disney i want to try something a little different so i went with the seafood pearl pasta now i had to ask what is uh <laughs> pearl pasta it's pasta that are like in the shape of pearls it was um the seafood was phenomenal it had shrimp and lobster and scallops and clams and mussels all the things i love in a good seafood pasta and especially down in florida i didn't quite care for the pearl pasta it was okay but mixed in with the seafood it was it was good i definitely if i went back to flying fish this is the dish that i'd want yeah it looked i had a very interesting presentation a look <laughs> to it it was did different and then I had the filet mignon with the sweet onion risotto and truffle sauce. And it looks odd. <laughs> it looks like a weird glaze on top. And the risotto, I'll start with that, was great. I loved it. I lo loved the risotto. I believe you had a bite of the risotto as well. I did. I liked it a lot. <laughs> and the truffle sauce on the filet mignon, it was definitely different, but it had a unique flavor that I enjoyed. Okay, so you would order that again. Yes, wow. and the thing is, is I'm not a huge seafood person like Kim is. I am. I'm guilty. I love seafood. Yeah, I love steak, and the filet mignon was cooked just phenomenally. Perfect, medium rare. It was great. And yeah, I would order it again. It had a great flavor. I was pretty happy with it. Afterwards, of course, we had to finish out with dessert. We wanted to do something with the 15th anniversary just because we didn't know how long it was going to be here and they're continually changing the menus around Walt Disney World, so we thought we wanted to try the 50th Celebration Midnight Lemon, and it was good. It had definitely had that like pucker lemon taste, but it was amazing, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it was great, uh, what do you call it, a dome, a moose dome? It was, yeah. Yeah, and it was really good, and the kind of funny thing is we were looking at it, we are going, this kind of reminds us of the dome from Pandora. 
Oh, okay, so you're talking down at um, Satuli's Canteen. Yeah, it had that same kind of look to it, but it wasn't the same flavor. No, this was, wow, yeah. I was blown away. I really love a good lemon dessert. Yeah, it was great. It had a lot of pucker, but it wasn't overpowering. Everything was just balanced mm. on it. Okay, so we also got a chocolate cake. It was kind of a molten cake, and I really love chocolate, but... After having that 50th celebration midnight lemon, like, because we were, Brad and I split these to, so we could both try them, I didn't want the chocolate anymore. <laughs> and that's, that's something coming from me. Yeah, the chocolate was good, but it was almost, if I remember right, overly rich. It was. It was chocolate on top of chocolate on top of chocolate, basically. Yeah. And I think it had caramel in it, too. Yeah, it was just way too much, I would say, unfortunately. I don't know if it's too much, but the lemon was so good, I just was like, <laughs> meh. Yeah, but this is coming from someone who doesn't eat a lot, ton of chocolate, either. From you, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm definitely on the other end of that. So, overall, what do we think our meal and experience at Flying Fish? We're definitely going to be returning. We yeah. loved it. It definitely... Uh, everybody was saying this is an awesome restaurant. We must go to it. We're right. This was a definitely a return on our list for dinners. I think the sign outside, it, it's beautiful with the lights flashing and the looks like the fish are flying. I mean, <laughs> right? Name of the restaurant is really... <laughs> but I don't think you get a really good idea of what this restaurant is until you step in mm -hmm. and you realize it's a lot more upscale than what you think. And then you walk in and you have this wonderful food and it's just amazing. Yeah. And really, I think part of the thing is that kind of, we were kind of going, really? About this is because of its old history, which was that it was a Flying Fish Cafe before, which mm -hmm. was kind of, you know, we would probably gone there eventually, but more of a... But, it was like more of a casual. It wasn't like on our to-do list. Yeah. Now it's a Disney signature restaurant and... We got a little bit more into the history about it, so let's go ahead and get into that with our server, Chris. Okay, first of all, sh huge shout out to Chris. He is amazing. And it was so cool afterwards because we wanted to look around after everybody kind of left. Um, we had one of the last reservations of the night. Mm -hmm. And just we were so blown away by the beauty of the atmosphere that Chris started coming and telling us more about how everything was made. Yeah, and more about the restaurant. Yeah, so we're gonna include those clips down here. So like one we're just trying to give people idea what this was like. So it's funny, so my dad was a senior project manager with the company for 15 years. Oh. Alright, so um, before that he ran a woodworking company. Okay. Um, and then Disney he did all kinds of jobs for Disney and stuff, and then they, they asked my dad if he'd like to be a senior project manager. And he said, absolutely. Um, so he was here for 15 years, and my uncle worked for my father at the woodworking company. So um, my dad contracted my uncle, you know, to do jobs and stuff. So you look at all the woodworking throughout this entire thing. Those marble tables, these marble tables, my uncle built them all, all the wood. If you go into, Aber if you go into Abercadabar, my uncle did all the woodworking in there. If you go to Treasury Al Forno, he did all the all the oh, working awesome. in there. Yeah, he's done he's done stuff all over the company. Come here, come here, look at this. I'll show you this. So I. So do you see? Do you, do you see all oh, these the, these flying fish the yeah. door handles? Yeah. All right, so they used to be on the inside as well. Okay. So my uncle took the two from the inside, and there is boat cleats on this boat, boat on his boat ramp. No. Oh, those are cool. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. So just a just a fun story. Yeah, you kind of cool. He kind of went through the history of the whole flying fish a little bit with us. The flying fish is named after a roller coaster out of Coney Island, called the, the Flying Turns Roller Coaster. Yeah, and I'll show you a picture. But that metal piece is actually off of one of the cars, which oh, is called yeah. the Flying Fish. So there you go, and there's a painting right there of the flying fish as well. Like we said earlier, it is definitely on our list now to go. It's a great restaurant. We had a great time. We had a nice... Yeah. It's, I would say, probably more towards adults than kids, though. It is. I still think that Hayden is an older teen. Our son would enjoy it because it has such good seafood, and he's into that. Mm -hmm. um, 
I definitely want to bring my mom back because they had kind of a wine room and <laughs> seemed to have some areas. I I looked around and I was like, she'll love this place. So we have to bring her next time she comes with us to Disney World. Yeah, even those little light fixtures in there were just unique yeah. too. Um, so with that, I think it's time for us to say goodbye and... Find, find your, your magic. magic. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.